Uh, shout out to Wiz Lee for just step in the building as well. Uh, Wiz, how you been, man? Man, I'm cool. I had a little fucking back injury and shit. I was working out. Fuck my back up. I'm really laid up in a lot of fucking pain, but I'm chilling. I feel you. I, I think I seen some shit too when you was um, you know, you was walking slow, but um. Yeah, yeah. Heal up, my brother. You know, do you do? You do, uh, do you ever practice yoga? Yeah, I do hot yoga on Tuesdays, man. Uh, pretty much every week. That's what's up. That's why the yogis in the building. You yeah, know I, mean? fuck, I fuck with yoga. I fuck with all that shit, man. I was just, you know, I I don't think I warmed up enough. I don't think I stretched enough this time, and got under that got under that back squat, and it got the best of me. But I'll be back next week, though. I'll be good. All right, no doubt. So let me ask you on that on that tip though. What what do you practice? Do you do martial arts or is it you know UFC yeah. training? Like, you know, what's your thing? Yeah, I do I do I do mixed martial arts. Um I do Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, and boxing. It's uh all put together. And uh for me, I just do it in stages, like whatever you know I gravitate towards the most. So Muay Thai, I'm naturally good at that because of the kicks and the elbows and all of that shit. And then, you know, boxing has more footwork and, and hands involved. So you learn timing and different shit there. And then wrestling and jujitsu is more groundwork. And you know what I mean? Uh, it's just different muscles being used. So just putting all that shit together for real, for real. That's dope. That's dope. Never, never competitive, though. No, nah, I haven't done it for competition. I don't really see myself doing it for competition either. Uh, mm -hmm. I do taekwondo as well. Uh, my 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 coach Ernie, he's like a taekwondo legend, and uh, I really see it more translating into like movies and action and stunts and things like that. Other than me actually getting in the ring and you know putting it all on the line like that. No well, facts. Man. That's what's up, man. Um, yeah. I think it's dope because a lot of people, you know, it's a different side of what you do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've had a lot of Khalifa Kush in my life. But, you know, on the other side of it, you you waking up in the morning while we still sleeping, getting to it. So, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, how's it's the brand fun. doing? You still doing the uh, Khalifa Kush and all that stuff? Yeah, absolutely, man. Everything's going good with Khalifa Kush. Um, we have the original strain, um, and pretty much almost every damn uh uh state in the country right now and then we're in different countries as well uh, we got some deals in thailand we got some deals in germany coming up we got a lot of overseas shit um with with the regular khalifa kush the one that i'm smoking right now and then we got a couple other flavors that we introduced as well that are available in like florida jersey and they're spreading uh there's khalifa mints that's out right now there's baby powder out right now and then uh we got violet sky on the re uh, on the way so yeah just you know, putting it down uh, as the laws change, becoming, you know, more present in other states and cities and things like that. And then um, adding to the menu as well for, for people who want to, you know, smoke the Khalifa Kush, but maybe not that exact flavor. They find something that, you know, goes with their preference as well. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. Um, big up to you for that. In terms of like pioneering that before it was cool, before everybody was doing it, you know, you was doing it illegally. And that's how I got down. You know, I was the legal weed smoker, risking my whole shit. And, yeah. uh, you know, you, you 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 took that, pioneered it, and then uh, really made a business out of it. So, Well, I got to shout out my big homies, too, man. Uh, you know, Burner really put me in the game. Um, Snoop, of course. And uh, and Be Real, that's, you know, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at without those guys. And Be Real is a real pioneer. Um, just with pushing the culture forward. Um, helping it become legal and, you know, as far as social media and stuff too, Be Real has been, you know, uh, documenting and showing different types of buds and the best buds. So between him, Burner, and Snoop, you know, I was raised right <laughs> and able to come in and do what I'm able to do. No, no doubt about it, man. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, and, and just speaking on that, you, you tapped in, you sort of touched on the movie stuff. Um, and that, you know, sort of the, the martial arts sort of can tap into, into the movies and stuff. Are there aspirations for you to do, like, action and other forms? I know the comedic, the comedic side of you, um, which is just cool and dope. Uh, are you looking to take it further? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely looking to take it further. Um, you know, whether it's action, um, you know, doing my own stunts is something that I would be blessed with and developing my own style as well. So I could mix comedy in there too, or do something, you know, more serious or bigger budget. Um, so just to be able to be flexible in all of those areas and even the voiceovers have been working really well for me too. Um, I've been on a couple series and there's a lot of adult comedies and, and opportunities there just, uh, you know, with how things are uh, digested these days. So there's just a lot of opportunities to be all over the place and, and use my personality and also my, uh, you know, my relationships to, to, to my advantage and uh, come up and develop my own little story when it comes to the, uh, to the acting and, and, you know, building the Wiz Khalifa brand over there. No, no doubt about it. I love it, man. Cause you know, uh, shout to my man, Brandon Scales, B. I remember when you was on Warner. Yeah. They wasn't showing you the love, you know, keeping it funky. You know, they was, they were not, no knock on the label, not doing that. But what I'm saying, yeah. is that I remember when Brandon was there by himself, uh, summer, we in LA, we were like, yo, I got this artist with Khalifa, you know, do you want some rolling papers? Hell yeah, <laughs> want some rolling papers and I'll yeah. take a CD, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you to be, um, you know, to yeah, shout out come to from Scales, that. Man. Yeah. Scales actually showed me, you know, I know when you were saying the love from the label, like, but he showed me a lot of love and, and he really like schooled me to a lot of what's important in the game as far as building relationships and putting in the groundwork that lasts forever. And that's what I learned, you know, by being around and by being on Warner is along with my my talent, what comes with it and how to, you know, really, really stick around and matter in this game. And um at that time, I, they really didn't understand me as an artist. And we go through that as artists, you know what I mean? Where people are going to get you and then they're not going to get you. But, you know, the people who you have in your corner, they support you and they hold you down. And luckily, I was able to build my own fan base of people who, you know, understand me and feel the same way as I do. So when it's time, you know what I mean? I always got those people to, uh, right behind me to just rally for me and, and push me to where I need to be. Yeah, man, because um, through that, obviously, came the Taylor Gang family. Shout out to Will. Uh, and, you know, what you've been doing over the years in terms of also managing the label business. Mm -hmm. and, and, and now you're, you're truly free, you know, in terms of like a partnership with BMG, um, you know, artists you've put out and everything. Um, and leading into this new project, you know, I know you did the mixtape, um, you know, and now we got the album coming up. Um, let's just talk about that. You know, yeah. Name I'm the really album. And you the said what? I said, what's the name <laughs> of the album and what's the joints you're dropping from them? Uh, the name of the album is Wizzlemania. And um, the first, well, kind of, we did, I did Don't Text, Don't Call. That's going to be on there. And then I did Peace and Love. And then the record that you guys have is uh, it's called You. That's the one with me and Ty Dollar Sign. And um, really with the album and with the mixtape, um, I'm just having, you know, fun filling things out and keeping the fans up to speed to where I'm at. And yeah. um, just giving them multiple experiences along with, you know, the stuff that I take serious. And then there's stuff that's just fun. Um, with me being free, I'm able to, you know, entertain and put the energy into the things that I want to when I want to and basically kind of set it up how I see fit for what is successful for, you know, a rollout plan. And um, to me, you know, dropping singles are very important and having material just for the fans to enjoy, whether it's mixtapes or videos or, you know, viral moments, whatever it is, it takes time to build all of those up. So I'm not really in any rush to drop the album. I got songs put away that are definitely going to be for the album and in the time of, you know, keeping everybody entertained and keeping them up to speed with me. By the time I put it out, you know, it's going to be fully complete. It's going to be ready for everybody and everybody's going to see the vision. But right now it's just taking it step by step. And um, you get in the mixtape, you get me on tour, you get in, um, you know, a video for Peace and Love, you get in this new single with me and Ty. And um, I'm just hitting them from all angles and just being really, really visible. And that's just the point right now. No, nah, no doubt about it. 
Now we yeah. see you working, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and you yeah. do it smoothly, you know. It just be like all of a sudden, boom, it's a bang up of whiz. It's like, oh mm -hmm. shit. So yeah. um, love on that. Um, I right, I want to play peace and love first. If Hell you know yeah. Let's let's get into that. Shout out to Wiz Khalif in the building. It's man, uh the man is self-made. We gotta salute that. And uh check this joint out right here. It's called Peace and Love. Love the message in the music, man. Love the message in the music. Um, you know, before I let everybody jump in, I gotta say, like, you know, that record's so big, man, because you see what's going on around the world. You know, world we Russia fighting Ukraine, US fighting Russia, fighting China, you know, in the local communities, you got our own fighting our own. We still got racist shit. I would anything that's going that's going to try to make this world a better place. So uh, shout out to you for that. Um, and, and I love the message in the music. And that's real talk. I'm going to open it up uh, for DJs to ask questions. A, be respectful. B, show love and, and come with positive stuff, whether it's creatively or just, you know, praise or whatever you want to say. Um, but let's make it happen. We're going to start with DJ Benz in the house. Yo, CL, what's up, everybody? What's up, Wiz? What it do, bro? What's going on? Chilling, chilling, man. I, I got my rolling papers. I got my raw papers right here. So I'll go with you, bro. Um, yo, two questions. Um, shout out to my homie DJ Bonix. Like, I've known him for over a decade. One of the coolest guys out in the game. I just want to know, how did y'all two meet? And number two, I had your drop for about 10 years. Because <laughs> I um I met you at uh, Philly when you opened up um, Black and Yellow. You know what I'm saying? With Diamond Cut Show. And then mm. you came back and you made that drop. So I definitely need a new drop. But real question. How did you and Bonix connect? All right. So any, I got y'all on the drops. Anybody who need drops, y'all send them through the wheel. And I'm going right. to hook it up. I'm in the fucking bed. I can't go nowhere anyway. So I got. I might as well do some drops. But I would do it would anyway. Because anyway. I fuck with y'all. So anybody who need drops, hit up Will. Um, I met Bonnick, the Bonnick's. That's my guy. Um, he been fucking with me since I was like, uh, like literally still in high school, man. He used to DJ at this station called Kiss in Pittsburgh. And Kiss was more like the pop station. There's Whammo, which is the hip hop station, and, and Kiss was like top forty. So they weren't really known for fucking with too much hip hop or rap shit. But being that Bonnick's was tapped in. And the people who I was uh, recording with at ID Labs, um, E. Dan, Huggy, and all of them, they knew Bonix. So he would hear my music or just hear my name floating around with them. And I remember performing at Pitt, and there was probably like 15 people there. But he stuck around and seen my set and watched me perform and shit. And that's how we became cool. And I, I started out early on the road with a couple other DJs. But they were never, they ne nobody ever really stuck. They did a good job and they, they you know, held it down for the moment. But as far as building a team and like a solid, you know, uh, a unit, you know, I couldn't really see it with anybody other than Bonix. And that's why that's that's been my guy. That's always going to be my guy. Word up, man. Hey, man, continue, continue changing the game. Thank you for what you've done for the game, man. Real talk. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate the love. Wow. Oh shit. Uh Holly Grove, you already know. <laughs> Wiz, what's up, baby? Holly Grove Chop Stars. You already know how we rock, bro. What's up, so, fool? Cool then, brother. Uh, you know, shout out to my boy Bonix. He had me DJ out there at Hardeen not too long ago. But uh my question to you is, you know what I'm saying? All the artists that you sign, what makes all of your artists unique? You know what I'm saying? Because you know, we fuck with Deji super hard. You know, matter of fact, I was with Deji yesterday. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, we about to drop that chop now, slap remix. But you know, uh, you becoming more of a music exec instead of just an artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is that important to you? And then also, can we get Young Deji to come out for the Houston show? I'm gonna be there for sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell yeah, Deji gonna be on tour. Anybody that I sign or that I fuck with, I'm really a fan of, and I just see how 
they're usually infectious to me. Like I'm, I love their music. I, I sit in the studio with them. I watch them record. I hear how they build their sound and I travel with them through their journey as well. Um, you know, where they start might not always be where they end up going. So I just rock with them, you know, and, and never really try to do too much coaching, but I just lead by example and just showing them, you know, how to conduct yourself as an artist out here, or how to do business and really mix the two of, uh, you know, where we're at in the game and with the talent and just use my, 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 uh, my, you know, my game that I have there. But as far as, you know, the artists that I gravitate towards, I just love their music. I love what they do. I love how talented they are. I'm pretty much blown away by them and just, you know, would do anything with my platform for people who love me to love them exactly the same. Yeah, that's deep. So last thing I'm going to say is we need to get all the Chop Not Slide remixes we got. We got a bunch of y'all stuff chopped up. We need to get that out. And we need another joint uh, project with Currency, you know what I mean? We need that. For sure. For sure. For sure, 100%. Yeah, I just want to say real quick, uh, big up to Wiz for the, the, the talent. I'm going to second Holly Grove. The talent in the air and the artists you've done uh, signed and put on. And even to go back and sign Juicy J, I was like, yo, that's moves. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's like homage to a legend. You know what I'm saying? So um, thank you for that. Uh, Earl, go ahead. Peace, peace. Wiz, what's going on, man? Um, great to have you on the call. And, um, you know, it's an honor to have you just because, you know, first paying attention from like the Say You Will remix back in like 09 to Cushion Orange Juice, Only Nigga in First Class, and just like, you know, the growth and, um, you know, your career expanding to where it has. Uh, it, it's been really dope to watch. And so, you know, after signing, like, Ty Dolla Sign, building your roster, and um, being at the place to where, like, your records are, like, huge international records that are, like, soundtracking things and, you know what I'm saying, bringing in millions and billions of streams. Um, just curious, like, coming from such an underground perspective, um, cannabis heavy, being, like, oh, not, not rebel, like, you know, you're living a natural life, but it was against, like, the status quo, like, as your careers kind of uh, continue and as, as it continues to grow, like just curious about like, what do you see like the next steps uh, being or like, you know, certain goals of yours that you have like in the next like six months to six years, like just curious about like that expansion. Yeah. I just see, keep building each step. Um, you know, I love making music. So that's always going to be the vehicle and I love performing and I'm blessed to have, you know, a lot of big hits to, you know, carry me through two hour sets or however long I need to go. So I'm in a really good spot to create new stuff and still bring nostalgia to people who, who had moments, you know, with my music. And that's what it's really all about for me is the music and the fans and the connection. So I'm, I just feel like I'm in a really good, like a really sweet spot to just keep, you know, everybody happy and to keep myself happy and to build on top of, you know, the brand. There's a lot of people uh, who have experienced it, but to still know that there's people experiencing it for the first time is a is a beautiful thing, too. So it's it keeps me inspired and just, you know, on my toes as far as what's next and and what, uh, you know, the the best experience for the fans could be. And, um, you know, the next six months is just me working really hard, being on the road. Um, a lot has changed, like, in the past two or three years. So with everybody being, you know, more outside and just the energy being really high, it's a great time to just have a lot of fun and just throw some things out there and figure out what sticks. And whatever doesn't stick, just let it fall off and everything else, just keep it, you know, carry it on with us. And um, I think creativity is at an all-time high. We all just pushing each other, whether it's visually or, you know, sonically with production or just DJs or, you know what I mean? Even fashion-wise, people are just going crazy and, and, and just, they're just expressing themselves in so many different ways. So it's, it's a great time to just find who you want to connect with and, you know, have those people be on the, the next, you know, six to eight to 10 year ride with you. That's really what I'm looking forward to. And then I have a son. He's 10 years old. So just communicating with him and his friends, it's really cool to see what they're into and what's cool. And like, it just reminds me of being a kid again. It's like 
I got a whole new like energy and approach to it. So it's cool. Okay, man. It's fun. Now that's dope, man. Um, you know, I'm not trying to take too much of your time, but I just wanted to thank you for the insight and the feedback. Like just for a little background, like my start in music came starting a cinematic music group we're going like smoke dizza oh hell yeah some of the older crit stuff so like the smokers club stuff like even though we never got a chance to, like interface to connect it was always like an inspiration for like doing what you feel is best in mm -hmm. this space because there's really no rules to it so you know just wanted to shout you out i also reached out to, to will to hopefully connect but um yeah and no, i just wanted to shout you out again man thanks a lot no doubt thank you too bro already all right uh, we're going to take beat tip and we're going to do TJ Chiz and then we're going to get into this new single and then we're going to come back. That's going to be the flow. Um, beat tip, you already know what it is. Yo, shout out to everybody on DigiWax, beat tip, Long Beach, California. Wiz, when you see when you see documentaries on Snoop, that's the footage I shot in the 90s. So real quick, bro, I seen you live, man, at the uh, fashion show downtown LA, you and Juicy J, man, y'all was rocking the lasers, the whole get up, man. Um, your performance, man, I, I just enjoy checking you out live, bro. And um, the Jimmy Kimmel live show, uh, that song, Memory Lane, you was rocking, bro. So I just wanted to shout out to you. Thank you. Yeah, man, I've been rocking your music. And and, I, and the Indo Smoke mixes I do, you definitely be on those, man. So peace oh, and love. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate the love, yo. For sure. Hey, can I just jump in with a real quick smoke question? <laughs> Um, best weed you have ever, um, you know, you remember the best weed you've ever had or the best strand? Um, the best strand that I've ever had is the one that I that I sell and smoke. It's the Khalifa Kush. That's my favorite, and that's what I would recommend. Or, you know, have anybody else smoke. But other than my weed, I would have to say uh Jet Fuel, mm. which which B Real has. That's that's his his weed. And anything from burner, anything from burner gonna sit you down. Nice. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah. Shout out to the weed. I, I have one question about your weed. Is your weed available in Canada? Not yet. We had a deal in Canada, but we do not have a deal in Canada anymore. <laughs> what about uh, Michigan? Michigan? You said Michigan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. It's, it's in Michigan. We need in DC. I need some in DC. It's in Maryland as well. Uh, oh, perfect. We, we definitely got to try smoke. to get that up in Canada, man, for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All good. All right, so, uh, Chiz, let's ask you a question, and then we're going to get into uh, some more music uh, from the uh, legend. Appreciate you for having me on, by the way, CL. Um, DJ Chiz out here in Houston. First off, Wiz, I just want to give you your flowers, bro. You got me through high school, bro. I was in a, at, at a school with a bunch of Wayne heads, and I'm like, I need something different. And you came through with the Prince of the City and the growth season and all that. But my question for you is the track. I'm fucking with the Peace and Love track. You know, it gives me the same vibes as the thrill. Mm -hmm. I just want to know, can we get a whole project with those kind of vibes on it? Because that shit is, is, is groovy. Damn. Hell yeah. I would, I would love to make a whole project with, with that type of stuff. I really enjoy, you know, blending genres. And, um, you know, earlier in my career, I feel like that was something that would, it would be like considered risky or like, but now that's kind of like what people expect from me. So if you, if you feel like a project with those types of vibes carrying the project would, would do some, I would totally be with that, man. That would be fun as hell. Yeah, nah, for sure. Because I consider myself as one of your core fans. You know, I, I was, like I said, I was there during growth season when you had the tall tees and shit on. Right, right, so, right. As a core fan and, you know, hearing Say Yeah, The Thrill, Peace and Love, like, we we need that shit. Like, All right. We need All right, I got you. I'm going to go cook it up. <laughs> Already. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. Cook it up. Um... Shout out to your team. Shout out to my man Will. Um, because he uh sent me this record, this you record. Um, before we play it, what's the album release date? I don't have a release date for the album. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, I feel like it, it needs to go when it needs to go. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm with you on that. Um for sure. you know, rock it when you want to rock it. Uh anything you want to say about this record here? Um, it's a fun song. It's for the summertime. Um, it's featuring Ty Dollar Sign. Any any sign that, any song that me and Ty make is special. Um, 
when, you know, I signed him and even just when we started making music together, I always admired his voice and his presence and his knowledge about music, the way he writes, the way he approaches, like the words that he uses. I'm a really, really big fan of Ty. And I just listen to him and like dissect his music so much. He's such a, a freaking genius to me. And it's so good to like see the rest of the world understand and recognize how much of a genius he is. And on top of that, it's really cool that pretty much every song that we release, I have a platinum plaque for as well. So the world loves it too. And, you know, it it translates, man. And it's really cool. And, you know, it's just tradition for me and him to, you know, get together and make something that that's going to make everybody feel good. And this is one of those records. Well, I'm honored to have it uh, as a world premiere, at least on this platform. And uh, here it is, man. This is Wiz Khalifa, Ty Dolla Sign. Record is called You. And uh, let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> God. Man, that brain all kind of vibe. Yeah, listen, man, we getting some, we getting some. Uh, I need that vibes. record. I think yes. we gotta run that back. Yeah. Run it back. We gotta run, run it back. back. Yeah. I need that. Run it back. You know what Rick Flair said? You know what Rick Flair said? Oh shit! God damn! It is weird summer. Yeah, let me just say the uh the the chat is on crazy right now. Oh, yo, the God. chat is on crazy. Damn. <laughs> now you gotta go. Now y'all gotta go immediately with this, yo. I'm not, you know. <laughs> shout out to Will. Me, me and Will texting. It's like this is it's overwhelming, man. The chat is on fire. Um, all right, let's see who we're gonna go with first. We're going with Jersey the DJ, then, then Bionic, then Legend. Let's go. All right. So first off, um, I'm I'm at a loss for words just because. That record is just a vibe. It, 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 it's a huge vibe. That's number one. Um, the record before that, I want to thank you for trying to for, for changing the frequency of the music. You know what I mean? The messaging of the music is very, very key, and you're changing that. But you always been on that for like a, a cool minute. So, you know what I mean? Um, shoot. First and foremost, when can I get that record? Because I'm going to drop that motherfucker in D.C. Hey, what's up? Okay. And that's it. Hell yeah. Thank you, man. It's it's going to be out, what, in the next few days. But y'all getting it early. So, hell yeah. I'll make sure I'm going to uh, just tap in with Will. You know what I mean? We'll make sure you get that shit. If you want to play it tonight, fuck it. I will. Actually, I will. Chat, don't, 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 don't play with me. I will. I will. No, I'll tell you what. We need, I'm playing like, it tonight. I'm playing it tonight. I'm playing it tonight at SAT. All right. I'm gonna tell my boy to play. And actually, I got one of my DJs up in here, so I already know he knows I'm serious. I'm pulling up the sack tonight. I'm giving it to C Styles. He got to play it tonight. All right, y'all hit Will, and then make sure y'all tag me because I'm in the bed. So I'm gonna repost that shit, and then we'll just get it going like that. Say hey, last. <laughs> my guy already all right dope stuff um bionic i know bionic's ready to go in so go ahead brother <laughs> i'm actually not gonna go in man but i do have a few things that i wanted to run you know uh Wiz is, is great to talk to you brother um you know i've been a fan i ain't gonna say from day one but uh i've kind of felt a certain connection with you as far as pushing the envelope on mixing records and mixing genres and things like that. Uh, my first experience with you was somebody calling me on the phone saying, hey, bro, they playing your record on the radio. I'm like, I ain't got no record on the radio. It was like, nah, man, I heard that Alice DJ sample you did. And it was your Say Yeah record. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I had used that joint for somebody else. So mm -hmm. ever since then, I've been rocking with you. I did a mixtape. I used the black and yellow beat. Made a song called Sick and Tired. You know what I'm saying? Even up the last week, I did a record, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sending one of my friends that passed away off and I modeled it after, you know what I'm saying, when I uh, see you again. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's like, I've been a fan, bro. You know, I I, uh, I got two of your records in rotation at the strip club, uh, Big Daddy Wiz and Thousand Women. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I appreciate you staying consistent. Um, I appreciate you pushing the envelope. Uh, 
are you open to other producers and other records being sent? And if so, how will we go about doing that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I appreciate the love, man. And definitely keep doing your thing and, and creating and, and, you know, using the inspiration to create and, you know, putting that energy out there because that's what it's for. And um, if you want to send some beats, just send them to Will. I don't know if you have his email, but he's in the chat. Uh, Will gets everything and filters it and, and sends it directly to me where I go through it as well. So I'm sure he'll make sure that he lets me know that it's you and uh, we'll get it cracking, man. And at, and at least just start the relationship. You know what I mean? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Because uh, I got a record. I think you, Ty, Juicy J, I think, I think, you know, might need some tweaks, but I think y'all got some. You know, if I'm sure. I mean, between us three, we could definitely tweak it. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Um, let's go to Legend. Well, let's keep it brief, y'all. I know we are, uh, you know, Legend, we got Legend in the house, but let's keep it as brief as we can. Go ahead. What's, what's going on, Wiz? This Legend. Um, you got two Pittsburgh natives on here, me and Adam Golden. I'm originally from North Braddock. Um, definitely been a fan, man. Um, I remember when my cousin back in 07, when she went to CCAC, she was sending me the music when I moved to uh, Columbus, Ohio. And so it was definitely just to, you know, it was good to see where you're at right now. And, you know, basically all the projects and stuff you've been putting out and all the hits and singles and somebody representing hometown back in Pittsburgh, bro. So um, continue doing it, man. Definitely like the new single you got out. Um, I did have a question, though. Um, kind of not music related, but it is. But when it comes to your son, you know, when it comes to the industry, would you want him to, like, go in those footsteps that, you know, that you followed in? Or would you want him to, like, go into, like, the martial art world? Like, do you kind of know where you would like to kind of see your son go too far as in, like, his career? Yeah, I just I just want him to be well-rounded. Um, I think growing up with access to a lot of stuff, um, it could happen in, in different orders, but what I learned and, you know, with my age is it all happens when it's supposed to, just as long as you learn those lessons. So for me, you know, I kind of, I, I had a normal life growing up, but as a teen and experiencing, you know, a lot of just wanting to build a brand and do all of these things that aren't really normal for a kid. Um, I missed out on, you know, a lot of the regular teenage years or early 20 years, you know, just being who I am. But, you know, later on in life, I learned to value it more. So if he wants to value the normal life early and then turn up later or turn up early and, you know, be normal later, I think it's really just up to him. But I think life is just going to, you know, put everything in position to where you learn. He, he's going to learn those lessons when he needs to. It's just my job to kind of just guide him through it. And, you know, right now he's into sports. So he 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 could want to fucking be a basketball player for the early years of his life. But, you know, I just really want him to have that balance to where I could go, he could go to the best camps and the best schools and, you know, maybe even fucking play in the NBA, but he'll reach his 30s and his 40s and he'll have to pivot and do something else. So I just want him to be like, you know, happy and, you know, just uh, genuine about life and passionate about life. And then you can go anywhere at, at any age with, with that attitude. Oh, that's what's up. Real, one more quick question, CO. Uh, would you ever bring like a festival back home to Pittsburgh? Yeah, we're trying to. It's just really difficult uh, with the city and with the laws and things like that. So it's really about right. finding a place that'll facilitate it. We've been trying to do it for years and then COVID shit happened and that set us back. So we're still, you know, planning it out. We had a lineup for this year, but things didn't really work out. So we're just going to keep pushing for it. Okay. Yes, sir. Is George Benson going to be on it? <laughs> I got to say that. Yo, I went to Pittsburgh years ago, right? I went to Whammo and shit. I was like, yo, who's from Pittsburgh? I'll be. And they was like, yo, George Benson. I was like, yo, George Benson's a bad motherfucker. Yo, I like George Benson. But anyway, I know I'm pivoting to the left. Um, <laughs> real quick, uh, shout out to uh, Will in the building. Will, uh, want to step up and say something real quick on behalf of Taylor Gang and the family. Will, 
Thank you, CL. Thanks for having us as always, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys all for being here. Um, I, I just, as long as Wiz is good with it, I'm about to drop you guys a DJ pack in the chat. So if everyone wants it, let's fucking go. Leak it tonight, it right is. now. Let's yeah. get it. Gang Gangster Will and this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, my email's in the chat. If anyone needs anything, like Wiz said, just hit me. I got you. And I I'm going to drop this in the chat. And thank you guys all for being here and supporting. And, you know, Legend, we are definitely putting a, a festival together. So don't worry. I'm all over it. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, God um, bless y'all, man. No, thank you. We just got the exclusive, you know, shout out to Wiz and Will. They just gave us the exclusive pack. Run with it. The song is a is obviously a summer um, classic and heater. This is we, nobody's owned the summer yet. Nobody's owned the summer yet. So make it the summer record. Just play it over and over and over again. Um, G Web, say something real quick. Got thirty seconds. Uh, Sniper, and then I gotta jump to Israel real quick because I do want him to uh, tap in on Web three because I know he's gonna ask something like that. But go ahead. What up, Wiz? It's your boy DJ Grab Nerve DJs. What's crazy? Hey, I just want to say, bro, hot ass track, bro. Hot ass track. That sample, that pog feel. Oh Lord Jesus. And you know, man, you and Todd Dollar be always killing shit. I'm gonna Good give you respect and I'm gonna run the fuck out that, that record for you. I'm gonna Good run look. that bitch up. Good I'm gonna look, get man. that motherfucker going. You can do some sure. drops. I send over. I send over a little drop script to root to Will. And like I said, much respect. Keep doing your thing. And let's go. Let's run that bitch. Good luck, y'all. That's all about to make sure y'all yeah. sure send them drop scripts over. I know y'all yeah, got the record. Over. Make sure y'all send them over and I'm gonna knock them joints out for y'all too. Can we get all the right, peace and love record in the chat? Will, okay. can you drop the peace and love record? Yeah, it's out. It's out already. Gotcha. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Yeah. And if you need it, need the the MP3, just just email me, and I'm I'm gonna drop the art for this one in the chat right now. Oh, okay. Um, sniper, real quick, go ahead. What's good? We just um showing love out of me. Hey. Uh, I mean, there's definitely a record that we can get out here. I can, I can definitely hear that different dances and stuff that we got going out here. I'm glad Will went ahead and dropped it so we can get that in rotation out here to the DJs in Mississippi and also in Alabama. I'm going to make sure that we get that in rotation like ASAP, even starting tonight. And um, also, <laughs> and also, I do got my little sister over here. Her birthday is coming up Friday. So um, she also wanted me to ask you a quick question. Um. What is um I guess some some bad advice somebody gave you that if you would have took that advice you probably wouldn't be where you are today. Uh, some bad advice that I took. I mean that if I would have took, I would be fucked up. Yes. Um, I think when people was telling me my name was stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I would have listened to that, I don't think I I would have been pretty fucked up. <clears throat> Oh, dang. Yeah, um, and also, and also, huh? <laughs> say that again. Nah, what was you about to say? Oh, no, I was saying if you're on my right here, if you're on my tell her happy birthday, if you would, that'd be cool. What's her name? Aaliyah. Is she there? Yeah, she can hear you. Oh, hey, Aaliyah. Hey, Aaliyah. Hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Nah, no doubt. Y'all have fun. Y'all be safe. All right. For sure. All right. all right. So real quick, is Israel? I'm gonna let you go real quick. I know you probably got something, uh, you know, Web three related. You know, I know Wiz is into all types of, you know, movies, tech, weed, art. Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't have nothing Web three related. I actually was a. It was a, a Digiwax comment. Was like. You know, we listen to all these whack remixes on here. Everybody wants to do a, use one of these beats. And like that, that one right there was done right. That's an example of, I'm not a hater. Everybody says it's a hater thing, a hater move. I'm not a hater. It's just that lots of times people ruin great songs. Mm. And that was an example of how you utilize a great song and make something else great out of it. So shout out on that. And then I remember, you know, I remember when you, 
remember back in the day, you really one of the first YouTube artists that blew up and you kind of showed that blueprint and shout out to you and your team for doing like, you guys had those crazy videos and crazy visuals. On the business side though, in reality, so I work with early stage technology startups. I advise technology startups and launch tech startups. So you've seen what's happened with Chameleon Air, with Nas and Queensbridge Ventures and other things like that and a lot of other people. Are you currently um, involved in any technology startups and you looking for any partnerships or, or anything related to technology? The main thing that I did with technology was a lot of the VR stuff. Um, when Oculus was first coming around um, with their headsets, we had got in with them. But um, no, nah, I wouldn't say too much in the technology space right now. Um, we're more in, like in the weed space, the, the fighting space. We got the PFL. Our league is doing crazy over there. And... Um, yeah, like the the tech space is it's it's cool, it's it's super fun, but I haven't really had anything going in that space right now, no. Well, if you're interested, you know I got Will's information, but so like right now with gaming and stuff like that, there's a lot of rev share that goes into gaming. Like you know, four hundred million dollars is on the table from Fortnite. We saw what has been made from other past performances in Fortnite in a game with about. 10,000 daily active users. That's a quarter million dollars a month. So there's a lot to be. And then, you know, there's a lot of other, you know, anyways, I'll send an email. I'll send something through and hopefully. Yeah, we we have a gaming team, the Pittsburgh Knights. So if you're into the gaming space, for sure, there would be some stuff we could do there. Uh, we just had a, a live stream that did hella good. And we, we just do some things where we got them over there. They game hard. And I do my thing on the celebrity end. But we're all a, a team. So if there's some opportunities there, for sure, link up with Will and it'll be through the nights or however we can make it make it work. And um, any other things, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm open to everything, bro. Like, I like to be ahead of the curve or at least with the curve. Like, that's how I was able to start the YouTube shit was somebody came to me with a flip cam and was like, yo, this is going to be the next piece of blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, well, let's just give me that shit. Let me see what I could do with it. So even if it's a situation like that, we could we could make something happen, bro. I'm here for it. All right. Yeah, I'm thinking about something with the fighting stuff. Since you're interested in these mixed martial arts, if I see anything that comes across that is related to something else that you're interested in, also look up a company called Weedar, Weed AR, mm -hmm. and look at that and see if there's a if, if you want to. It basically we create weed uh like through AR applications of weed and little mm -hmm. uh, scavenger hunts. Okay. Weed, ways to activate weed brains. That's kind of hard. Yeah. It's All like right. Pokemon Go for weed. Exactly. Bam. <laughs> weed on. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. I had, right, to let sure. Israel, I had to let Israel go in because Israel be on his next level wave. So that's Shout hard. Out. I like that. Yeah, man. Dope stuff. Okay. Uh, um, DJ Broke, go ahead real quick. Good ass. Yeah. Uh, one with the same note. Yeah. Hey, bro, go ahead. DJ Broke, you ready? One, two, one, two. Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you good money. Or you just muted yourself. You got a lot going on. It's all love. You got to unmute yourself, brother. Uh, you got to unmute yourself. Uh, we're going to come back to you. We're going to come right back to you. Uh, Adam, go ahead. FRE Golden. I think I'm unmuted. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, bro, Wiz, what's good with you, brother? What's cracking, man? Man, it's your boy DJ Team broke out of Arkansas. Man, I ain't going to take up too much of your time. I just got two questions to ask you. One, with the music that you make, how did you, like, not change your beat or whatever, like, I know everybody probably came to you, hey man, you should do a record like this or you should change up your flow like this. What made you stay with Khalifa? I just go off of what I'm inspired by and I, I listen to everything. So sometimes when I'm going in the studio, I might be listening to Rick James. Sometimes I might be listening to Max B. So, <laughs> like, it's whatever vibe you got. Huh? 
it's whatever vibe you got, but it's all weird. What we weird gonna do? I'm not gonna listen. Nobody but weird. That's yeah, your mentality. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I I really I really think the things that I'm into are cool. So uh, I feel I feel like with music, it's it's kind of just an experiment. And I think it's fun to just try to get people to, you know, enjoy themselves. And that's what music should be. So it could remind you of something. It could, uh, it could remind you of your uncle. It could remind you of uh, one of your homeboys that you party with in college. It could remind you of a, a, a chick that, you know, might, you know, whatever, whatever. I, th I think that's just my goal is to just bring up feelings and and translate that through the music. So I just try a lot of different things and put it out there. All right, another question. What dispenser I can get that weed at in Arkansas? <laughs> uh, I would have to look at the list of the exact dispensaries that is available at in Arkansas, but I know we just did a drop there. So anywhere that carries True Leaf products. Okay, True Leaf. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. You, man. yeah. Stay up, man. My man, thank you, bro. All right. A lot of love. All right, um, FRH Golden. Go ahead, brother. That fight, you got to unmute yourself. All right. Nice. What up? Hello? What up? What up, man? Hey, I got a, I got a real Pittsburgh Central uh, question. Number one. I don't know if Wiz remembers this, but me and him used to take the same school bus every day to school. This nigga said Adam um, Golden. I'm like, I know that name. And I'm looking at you. <laughs> and I'm like, this cannot be who the fuck I think it is, bro. What's up, <laughs> bro? <laughs> That's crazy. What's up, bro? What's up, What's man? Up? You know what I mean? Same OG, just a little bit less hair. You know what I mean? But, um... Hey, it's all good. It's um, all good. First of all, that <laughs> single... That single is fire. Um, I work with a party in Pittsburgh called Slappers and Bangers. We could definitely be banging that joint. But I got a question about Alder Dice, man. So, um, something special about that place. You know what I mean? Like, we got Mac... We got yourself. We got Hardo. Um, mm. You know, we got me coming up. So um, yep. I wanted to ask you, like, what do you think it is about that particular space and that experience that allows that music to connect with so many people? You know what I mean? Man, <laughs> I think out of all of the schools, I think the Dice was the most well-rounded. and. Um, I say that because I feel like we all had different friend groups, but they all mixed and mingled together in somehow, some way. And it's like, even the sports and like the weed crowd and like the music and the the tech crowd. And you know what I mean? We it, It's like we all mixed and mingled and learned a little bit from each other. And we were able to like put that sauce into whatever it is our our main goal was and it, it was super cool to like see everybody bud off and become what they planned on being because we started with these goals we just it just wasn't a reality while we were in school because there was no reflection of that like we we couldn't see that we didn't see anybody who looked like us doing it we had to make that shit out of nowhere so it's just it's just really cool that we we knew we, we what we had and what we was working with and we made our way Period. Hey, man, yeah. I hope I wasn't those dudes who told you to uh, change your name, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't think you was, I don't think was one of them. You knew some of them, now. <laughs> Close show. I'm going to blame Jimmy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dog. <laughs> hey, bro, one love, bro. All right, peace, yo. Good seeing you, fool. Likewise. My man. That's love. That's love. All right, we got a little bit more time, so we got to run through these real quick. Uh, we've been on here for a minute. So, uh, jobs real quick, team. Okay, we did that. And then Cuddy, Cuddy, uh, head rushing an MP network. So, everybody, we're going to do 30 seconds. Go ahead, Jobs, real quick. Salute to you, Wiz. This is Jobs from Intellectually Petty Radio, Nerd Blue Jays representative. 
I've been smoking weed for over four decades. And I think every weed smoker has got their, their dream session and their dream spot to smoke in. What's the dopest place you got high? I think, damn, I will have to hold on. I mean, there's some cool places. Uh, fucking, I mean, on a private jet, like smoking weed on a jet's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, got to be. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's probably like at the top of the list is like just getting high on a private jet, like you know, man. It's gotta be, man. Oh, oh, and by the way, man, that record, bro, like that, that is going to be the new summertime. That's oh, family yeah. reunions yeah. for decades to come. Summertime cars for decades. To come. Like that's one of those songs. Yeah, good look, man. That's what I was trying to do with that, like. I'm a really big fan of the pop song. I'm a fan of the cameo song as well. And just the, you know, the bass line, how iconic that is, and how funky the song is, but also being able to bring it up to date and, you know, Ty having a very unique hook on there and me being able to rap about, you know, my subject, but tell the story in the way that I want to tell it and bring it across the way that I want to bring it across. I definitely laid it out for it to be something that lasts and not for it to just be like a trend or a fad or anything. So, so thank you. And I appreciate that. No doubt, man. Salute to you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. All right. We got Cuddy up next. You're Wiz. What the fuck is cracking? Bro, hold on. This nigga said he's been smoking weed for four decades. That's fucking crazy. What's good, my boy? Yo, that's crazy, bro. Yo, <laughs> 30 seconds. Yo, bro, I just want to give you your flowers, my nigga. Yo, I was getting out of high school. Bro said he was in high school. I was getting out when, like, Cushion Orange Juice and all that shit was coming out. In the Cut is, like, one of the first songs I played as a DJ and had the mm. fucking party going crazy and shit. Mm. Niggas didn't even know. Like, they was like, oh, this shit is hot. Mm. Um, You, bro, the record that you just played was fire. Two questions. I don't think we have this shit in Jersey. I'm from Jersey, you feel me? I don't think we have Khalifa Kush in Jersey or fucking New York. Maybe New York, I don't know, but is it gonna come? And also, like on this weed shit, Method Man and Red Man was the niggas before you really came around. Have you ever smoked with them? Had a scythe, bro. Yeah, I uh, I haven't smoked with Method Man and Red Man. I, I think they kind of. I don't know if they slowed down with weed or if they like you know might just do it more old. or like you know situational because when you get older, your relationship with weed changes. So I haven't gotten That's a chance it. to yet. I fuck with them heavy. I look I look up to them as as real big inspiration when it comes to uh to weed. Not only weed, but making music and performance. They're really dope performers. And yeah, uh, right. yeah thanks for thanks for the love as far as you know the music goes. And 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 I'm I'm happy we was able to turn the party up and get it cracking for you, man. I appreciate it. Oh yeah. And KK will be available in New York soon. If not, it's not available in New York yet, Will. Will knows. Fair. Super soon, but not quite. Oh, it's on the it's on the way to New York. It's in it's in it's in it's in uh it's in Pennsylvania. So if you ever go to okay. Philly, you can get it there. All right, and, uh, yeah, hell yeah, it'll be around. Bro, yeah, will, we, will we need that loud pack? Will we need that loud pack? Will Where make it make it happen? It, it, yo, it, it is. It's on the way. It's growing right now. It's in the ground. Yeah, we need that, yo. <laughs> yo, send the pack. I, I will. had to the push, though. You gave it a clue. I, I met you with like once or twice at Power on the Five. You came through with the fucking bathrobe and shit. You gave clue some Khalifa Kush. I don't know if I should say that you, you gifted him. That shit is that. Yeah, I, so I just need that again. Like you feel me? I like, got I'm, you, bro. Yeah, we thank you. If, thank you, you. if you have one of the stations this summer, I got you, bro. Ham roll. I'm in. I will. We'll, we'll 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 see each other. Cuddy, right? Cuddy, yes, sir. All right, I got you, bro. My boy. That's that's yeah. iHeart Media and my iHeart family in a building. That's what's yes, up. Sir. All right. What's Let's up? get it. <laughs> All right. Um hey, the MP, the you. MP network. <laughs> what's up, y'all? Wiz, what's going on with you, man? What's cracking, bro? Chilling, man. Uh just want to get some uh give flowers or whatever. I, I I typed my first comment in the in the um uh, in the chat, but I was saying. That that uh, the new song that you got, it'll definitely uh, mix in very well with the the new joint with Smoke Dizzle and you on the on the hook. Oh yeah, yeah. The, I was uh, like, yeah, you can, you can come right out of joint. 
Yeah, that shit slide, man. And, I, and you know, of course, you did your thing on that. But I was just telling the DJs, I was like, I think it'd be a good song to slide in right after the the new joint that you just dropped us. And um, I just finished listening to the uh, the uh, the blog era podcast. With, uh, mm-hmm. It's just real, man. And uh, I just love how they 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 bid you up, man. They was talking about the blog era, and and they they really highlighted you a lot on that, man. So I just want to give your flowers. On top of that podcast, if y'all haven't heard it, man, it's a very good podcast. But Wiz Khalifa was definitely representing on it. So, peace, to everybody. Thanks, bro. Appreciate the love, dude. Yes, sir. Dope, dope stuff. Uh, real quick, Wiz, are you doing like amp radio? You into any of that stuff? How cats is doing their own radio shows and sort of promoting their own. You know, I see uh, like Nikki's doing it, and I haven't done it yet. I've been trying to figure out a way to explore it because I always get told by people like, "Yo, man." You got a great voice. I can hear you, blah, 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 doing all this stuff. So I'm just trying to figure out the, the right way to do it. And uh, it's kind of time consuming as well. So, yeah. you know, I want to I wanna, uh, block off the right amount of time to put the right energy into it so that it could be a success and not just something, you know, that I add to my list of things to do. But to answer your question, yeah, I have, I have thought about it and uh, have, you know, been asked to do it for sure. Yeah, no doubt. I just think it's good. I see like how many people be reaching. Um, I ain't getting paid from them, but you know. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's a good pivot, man. It's it's fun and it gets your point across. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a good way to reach people and like control your narrative. Like music is one way to tell a story, but it still gives people like their own time to interpret what you're saying. But um, you know, these other these other uh platforms, it's just straight to the point. Mm. Man. All right, we here with uh I guess the last question. DJ Headrush has the honest strong style radio. Go ahead, my brother. Salute, salute. Peace with this DJ Headrush, strong style radio representative, Fleet DJ, DJ Wax family. Hey man, um um first of all, thank you for getting on the call with us and spending this time with us. You I've been on here for a minute. I want to give you your flowers for being uh, uh influencer and changing the game for the people uh, that's coming up behind you. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you, or I want to ask you a few things. Do we see you and Ty Dollar Sign make a project, a whole album? Because you all make some really good music together. Like, y'all been dropping it like something new from one of your projects a couple years ago. Eerie from his project on the beach. This one, like, Y'all don't miss when y'all together. So can we see a complete album coming from you in time? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, we talk about it all the time. Um, you know, doing doing a, a, a solid project, just me and him. He has an album that he's working on with Mustard right now. So as soon as he finishes him and Mustard's album, I think that'll be a good time for us to really get in the studio and um, and, you know, map that out. And even now, we have about like seven or eight songs that nobody ever heard. So we have those in the cut chilling and we could build on top of that and, you know, do something solid for y'all. That's what's up. That's what's up. I look forward to hearing that and checking that out, my brother. Um, Next question is um, when you made this record, uh, were you aware of other artists that had the same or similar track going? Because I got an (laughs) idea what I want to do with it. Uh, nah, I, I, I wasn't, and it just popped up like that it happened like a couple weeks ago. I was like, oh, damn, same idea, but fuck it. It makes sense, you know? Well, see, this is how we going to do it. We, we going to play, we going to do pop, right? We going to start from the, from the, from the, the homie, the big homie. Right. And we going to segue it in, into that, and then we going to top it off with you and just make it a G mix. Okay. See that that's how you that's how you put it, you know, put a little medicine yeah. in the candy. So yeah. yeah, everybody parties together. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, I'm man. That. That's what's up. That's what's up. And everybody's asking the question, when is it coming to Day City? Coming to a city near you? When can we see Wiz moving around again? We got any doctor's orders, any good news coming up soon? <laughs> um well I, I fucking I did this shit last week. It was Thursday. So I'm coming up on my first week of recovery and I got practice for the American tour on Monday. 
So hopefully by Monday, I'm going to see how I'm moving around on stage. You know what I mean? It's going to definitely be like a closed situation. So don't nobody really, ain't nobody really going to see or know. And then, you know, we'll have an update on the progress from then. That's what's up, man. Get well soon, my brother. Keep doing the good work. Keep dropping hot music. Once again, it's been a pleasure. DJ Head Rush, Strong Side Radio, Fleet DJ, Digiwax, Mixaholic DJ, signing off. Peace. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, listen, Wiz, man, we done kept you here. Um, It's been a pleasure. You know, you was uh, mad cool, mad fun, just kicking it with us, and we appreciate everything, man, everything you've done for the culture, Um, you know, your attitude, you know, the willingness to do that, the, the put on energy, you put mad people on, you know, you smoke, you uh, entrepreneur, um, and it seems like you do it all with grace. And uh, we appreciate you, man. And I can promise you that uh, from the DigiWax side, not only are we going to play that, you know, we do got DigiWax radio, which I am going to need to drop for, but, um, you know, we're going we gonna to support the music just genuinely. That's how it's going down, man. Shout out to Pittsburgh, too. It's always been a fun town for me, uh, Carnegie Mellon and all of that. Uh, we did some projects out there with them kids. And, uh, yeah, man, salute to you and the whole Taylor Game family. Yo, Will, you already know what it is. Um, and, and shout out to, uh, uh, you know, everybody else who tapped in to just uh, tap in with you. If you need drops, if you got anything that you need, by all means, um, feel free to hit me up. Um, T-Rex, do you want to say something real quick? Yeah, I was going to tell Wiz that we're going to drop it tonight in Columbus, Georgia. I'm going to go live with it and make sure that we drop it tonight. So I'm just letting you know, Alabama, Georgia, we, we represent. It is. So um, Next Level DJs, The Hype Magazine, TMZ Live, iHeartRadio, <laughs> Two Factor Let's Media. Go. Go. <laughs> represent everybody, BMF, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. and, it, and it's good this is how the things organically happen a lot of djs on here yeah. got a lot of power and uh somebody said i'm dropping it in houston tonight shout to k ken he's playing it in houston tonight um new york is on it and i know la going crazy shout, shout out to b tip you know that's that's happening in LA. Ooh, that's the summer record man yeah <laughs> so uh anything else tonight. To, with anything else you want to say before we let you go um no nah, i just thank you guys for for taking your time out and doing this call with me um i appreciate the energy appreciate you guys being willing to push the records like i said send those drops through so i could uh you know send the love back some of y'all got older drops that i might have done from years ago but i'm down to update them joints and make them all new and uh i just dropped a mixtape it's called see ya if uh, streaming on all platforms, you can get the link on my Twitter or um, Will might drop that shit in here too. But it's 25 bangers. It's all like little cut shit that you could pick whichever one you like and mix that in there too. And um, I know the focus is going to be on this record. And I just appreciate you guys for taking y'all's time and, you know, thinking about me and helping me push this next project forward. It, it really means a lot. And it definitely wouldn't be the same without y'all. So thank you. Man, love is love. Um, yo, it's been legendary. Shout out to Wiz. Shout out to Taylor Gang. We're going to let you go do your thing. Uh, We're going to play some more joints. It is New Music Wednesday. So much stuff been dropped. <laughs> This is